I have brought you two here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> and his challenge. Huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. I feel like a new sponge. Ow! Ow! I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. Ow! Oh, that's gotta sting. Fresh like a spring breeze. I guess SpongeBob like won't sponge. be winning that way. Fresh like a spring breeze. Looks like the robots left itself vulnerable. Ow. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Barrier Reef! Now the robot's taking a beating out there! SpongeBob has an opening! But will he get the drop on the robot? I wanna play! I wanna play! Epic, we're not playing! We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play! I wanna play! Oh, all right! Spring! The old clothesline move! Robots losing its head. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. Patrick has a big opportunity here. Oh, nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick. <laughs> Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. Fun. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh, ah, uh, we. Spring the old clothesline Ouch. move. The old clothesline move! Oh, what an uppercut! That's a 
bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. Quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want. But not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton! Yes? What is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. My heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh! Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goodie! Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? Okay, then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Love opening presents. Cha ching! Is it the TV repair? Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going fast. is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. Is it the TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going. Fast.
Your tree dome is leaking. Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots, and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. <laughs> Like a new sponge. Fish sticks. Stop your yapping and let's get robot trapping. Just met the Sponginator. Fresh like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge. All righty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. <laughs> ah, rollerific. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory.
Welcome to the dark depths of rock bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Bob, I'm actually glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Time for a little sleepy sneak. I gotta say, Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster.
like a spring Like a new sponge. Ouch! Too pretty. Fresh like a spring breeze. Spongenator. Roll, roll, roll the sponge.
Boy, are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the Golden Spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Do you have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? Unlike you. Pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir. That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. <laughs> <laughs> 